Hello, everybody. You know, um, Wilds of Eldraine, I, I don't feel like it was, it was kind of met, it wasn't met poorly when it came out, but it wasn't necessarily also met with, like, all the world's excitement. Um, people were kind of mid on it, right? Um, I feel like the set has been gaining steam ever since. And it's because it's kind of a banger, but it's kind of a low-key banger, right? It's not as obvious as cards like the Great Henge, right? Which were just like an Oko, the original Oko. Um, but the set itself is good, and you've got the, the Enchanted Tales bonus sheet. So Wild Zell Drain Box is, to me, probably one of the better values you could possibly open when you really add up everything. Plus, plus the addition of the extra commander cards that are pretty much all good. <laughs> Almost all of them are good, which is usually, usually they've, uh, in different sets, they've been kind of on the crappy side. Uh, but in this set, it's the complete other way around. They're all, they're almost all bangers to varying degrees. So when you add up all that, it's kind of like, oh, well, this is, well, this is actually a hell of a set, isn't it? Isn't it? So I'm doing a set box. As we go through this year, I will admit I'm personally probably going to do less collector boxes for myself and probably do more set, play, draft, whatever. So this is part of that. Okay. I'm still going to do some collector boxes, but I'm going to do way less of them for myself. So here we go. Grasp of Fate to start us off. And the Restless Bivouac. Which, of course, there are other cards to look for in this product. And if I remember correctly, didn't Wilds of Eldraine have kind of a banger list? Semi-banger. Not that that means a whole lot. <laughs> that's, that's still dumb luck stuff. Curiosity. Song of Totentans. Pile and Shield Hair. Okay. All right. So we got 30 packs to go through. It won't take forever. It will if I can't get the pack open. Come on, amateur. Okay, well, we have our first list card. We have a rare. We've got the Stone Coil Serpent, which is a good card, although not a valuable hit. Totem's Hands. Kindred Discovery. Not the mythic I was looking for, but you could do way worse. So that's a mythic off the Enchanted Tales. Gonna drop Poisoner. <laughs> yeah, I could do... I could, I've, Every card I have, like every set I have, the card that I pull far too many of. In this set, it's that. <clears throat> oh well. Empiric Rites. Lord Skitter's Blessing. Good rare. Alright. You know, I will admit, part of me is like, Come on, get a Rhystic Study. Come on, get a Rhystic Study. Come on, get a Rhystic Study. But that's just one out of however many hits there are. Leyline of Anticipation, Impact Tremors. Okay. Weird. Uh, Restless Spire. But Wilds does have some Banger Mythics. So we also hope to find those. Utopia Sprawl. Hardened Scales, take that. Extraordinary Journey. Wildwood Mentor. Okay. In fact, I'm going to move that there. Leyline of Lightning and Foil is kind of neat. Dark Tutelage. Tangled Colony. Okay. Things come in bunches. Scalding Viper and Foil. Not bad. Griffin Airy. Fane's, oh sorry, Fawn's Bane Troll. Bramble Familiar. I know Bramble Familiar doesn't exactly, neither does the Scalding Viper carry that much of a price tag right now. But they are some of the better rares in the set. So, they're on top. All that glitters. I do like the fact that that's two throne cards in a row. It's very, very on theme. Season of Growth. 
Oh no. No. It's just one mythic. We 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 can do better. Nature's will. So that's uh in the anime treatment. Bit of a womp womp. It's amazing to me how much that card dropped like a rocket. But I guess it, you know when we don't really see a whole ton of play. That's probably what's gonna happen. Yeah, you do tend to get one anime per set box on average. So that would be it for that. Dragon Mantle, Utopia Sprawl, Decadent Dragon. Good rare. All right, we have still have a lot of packs left. So far, not good, but. <laughs> so Blossom Pan uh, Prancer off uh, Kamikawa Neon Dynasty. All right. Nightly Valor. I guess that kind of fits a little bit. Spiteful Hex Mage. Up the Beanstalk. Still playable in other formats. Garrick's Uprising. Blossoming Tortoise. Okay. Not a bad mythic. Collector Vault did not see the play. It, it simply did not. I guess I shouldn't be so surprised. It sounded better on paper than it actually was. Foil Restless Bivouac in Borderless. Horn Luck Whale. Okay. Alright, we are halfway through the box now. Oppression, Lord Skitter, come on, come on down, hey, there's a good listy, Eldrazi Conscription, sweet, that is a good list pull, didn't even know that was on the list. Ground Seal, Questing Druid. Yeah, that was a good pack. All right, we continue. I'm feeling a renewed sense of vigor. Johan, as foretold. Virtue of Persistence. Um, for most of uh, 2023, every single set I had the Mythic that I pulled far too many of. It actually became a very annoying thing from set to set. Where like I could I could pick boxes from various areas all over the country, and every single time I was gonna get the same mythics. It was wild. Virtue persistence happened to be the card for this set that I happened. And it was an odd situation because it was like, okay, it is a good card though, but still I would like to see other things I haven't pulled yet. Awesome. <laughs> At this point, opening up a box later on. That's awesome. Very, very pleased about that. Hey, we have not pulled any of the uh, commander cards yet. Good to know. Wicked Visitor, Fiery Emancipation, Raging Battlemouse, which I know there are people who are eyeing up that card with Bloomboro. We'll see if they are correct. Stab Wound, Hatching Plans, Three Blind Mice. Okay, last pack of the middle. Dwarven Recruiter, huh, from Odyssey? Okay, too bad dwarves were never really that big of a thing. Sanguine Bond, Thunderous Debut, which is actually a solid card, doesn't have any, doesn't carry any value. Uh, Gawain, okay, that is... Commander card. <laughs> you can go there or something. I don't know. He's actually a pretty solid commander. All 
I forgot you can get the face commanders in the set boxes. Wolf Caller's Howl, huh? From, uh, is that Commander 14? Yeah. That feels like that's pretty good, actually. Karmic Justice. There we go! Yeah, it's not a Rhystic Study or a Smothering Tithe, but I'll be happy to take this. Happy to take this. Fantastic. Necropotence in the anime artwork. Excellent. Spectre of Mortality. Seriously, I'm super happy about that one. See, you just had to... He's had to get the box ready again. Shared animosity. That sounded weird. Uh, Restless Vine Stock. Not dead after all. Good comment. Okay. Let me clean up the pile for a second. There we go. Did anybody ever do anything with these two man land cycles out of this Nixlon? Spined Fluke from Urza Saga. Oh boy. Comes into play, sack a creature, and you can regenerate it. Yay. Vampiric Rites. Cruel Somnophage. All right. So we are down to seven packs, huh? Which means we should at least have one more regular set mythic. Okay, enough of you add cards. I already bought the box. Charming Scoundrel. Good rare. Lady of Laughter. Cheeky Housemas. And this is, like, this is actually kind of displaying a little bit of a reality. This isn't the spiciest rare set, not that there aren't playable rares in this product. It's just not the spiciest rare set, which I think has partial to do with the fact that the Mythics are kind of bangers plus the Enchanted Tales slot. So something has to give in the value, right? And I think it was the rares in this product. Elusive Otter. You know, I would like to find a uh, Court of Vantress. That might be asking for too much. Back for seconds. Leyline in the Void. There's a good rare. Griffin Airy. Bramble Familiar. Corvold. Okay. Corvold and the Noble Thief. Pretty sure Cor Corvold ate him. <laughs> Ray Bombardment. Virtue of Knowledge. Not bad. Questing Druid. Again. All right, so that is four regular set mythics. <laughs> Gave. Uh, recently reprinted in Double Masters 2022. Otherwise, that would actually probably be a better hit from the Commander. But that is a mythic off the list. Overall on the list, we did okay. Primarily because it's a drowsy conscription, but I'm pretty sure Wolf Call Wolf Caller's Howl is a decent pull too. Pretty sure it is. Gruff Triplets. This is going to go in the good rare pile. I don't care that it's bulk. Card's good. Good card. Good card is good. All right, two packs left. I'm feeling like this is an average box, but it's an average box I don't mind. Sneak Attack. Yeah, one more Mythic for the road. Okay. Wrinkles Prank. You will not cover Necropotence, though. Yeah, I don't know what to do with you going. You're not, you're not going up there with the other Mythics. Of course, Balloon is up there, so why shouldn't you? All right, last pack. Picklock, Prankster. Goblin Bombardment. Regal, Bunnycorn. And Ashiox Reaper. All right, so there, finally we got a Stroke of Midnight. So we didn't get, really, we didn't get any of the quartz or anything in this particular box. That's fascinating. Is that real? I think I would have noticed. Yeah, yeah, cool. Well, regardless of any of that, 
Blossoming Tortoise, couple of virtues, including one of the better ones, Necropotence, two other the solid mythics inside of that, and Kindred Discovery, Sneak Attack. Um, a good selection of rares. A couple things off the list that are actually worthy of getting. Overall, I'm going to consider this box a success. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. See ya. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Bye.